10 Badass Police and Military Robots. Today, we're bringing you 10 Badass Police and Military Robots. Better stick around for number 1, because this real-life Mission Impossible spy bot will blow you away. What's up, tech heads? And welcome to another episode of Tech Joint. Putting aside our personal feelings on the nature of crime and war, why it happens, and how we can stop it, the fact is, it's a terrible truth of life. But it's also the area causing the most technological advances at paces way beyond every other sector, even remotely like it. This gives way to a series of inventions, including some pretty badass robots whose job is to aid police and military in doing their jobs. From the world's first traffic robot to actual robotic prison guards, let's take a look at some of these badass robots changing the face of law enforcement and security. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest and greatest from the tech world. Let's get started. Number 10, the Batcat. The Batcat, which is short for Bomb Assault Tactical Control Assessment Tool, is a Los Angeles Police Department's radio-controlled monster. Due to its sheer weight, the Batcat can only reach a top speed of about 6 miles per hour. But this goliath of an unmanned machine wasn't designed for speed, but rather to pick up a car bomb using its massive 50-foot telescoping arm. Cops can switch out the end of said telescoping arm with a claw, a bucket, a forklift, or battering rams, and it can easily handle a payload of around 12,000 pounds, which is more than enough to haul your typical car bomb far out of the way. The Batcat was constructed on the chassis of a Caterpillar telehandler, so it's basically just a pimped out remote controlled forklift. But in addition to removing massive explosives, the Batcat can also rip apart an entire house in just minutes. The LAPD in fact once used it to tear down the walls of a home during a standoff back in 2011. Number 9. Traffic Robocops In Kinshasa, the sprawling capital city of the Democratic Republic of Congo, City officials installed a handful of giant solar-powered robot traffic cops in order to reduce deaths and get more people to follow traffic rules. The massive human-looking robots stand at busy intersections as kind of an all-in-one traffic light, crosswalk, and traffic camera, wearing a cool pair of shades. Just like a real cop, these robots direct traffic with their arms that signal red and green flags and usher pedestrians safely across wide, busy roads. These traffic cops also come with surveillance cameras installed that send footage back to the police in an effort to deter dangerous driving. Number 8. Drone Catching Drone In 2015, a Phantom 2 drone carrying traces of radiation was found in Tokyo on the roof of the Japanese Prime Minister's official residence. The stunt that turned out to be a protest by an anti-nuclear activist and is what later inspired Japanese police to start using drones to take down other drones. But they're not shooting them. That would cause debris over the heads of citizens and more trouble than harm. Instead, this police drone is using a net. This net-wielding drone is now used to monitor and catch suspicious-looking small unmanned aircrafts like you would a butterfly. Japan's badass drone-catching drone certainly seems a lot safer than the Dutch National Police Force's solution. They trained eagles to take down unauthorized drones. Number 7. Anti-Terror Rover If you thought the drone was badass, check out this 26-pound, 11-inch tall, remote-controlled robot named Doggo. It may not look like much, but this tiny rover can enter a house quietly, climb stairs, and even maneuver over obstacles while packing a 9mm Glock pistol. Doggo was designed by Israeli firm General Robotics to help the country's anti-terror unit communicate with suspects and fire upon enemies without risking their own lives. Ready with 8 cameras and 2-way audio, Doggo can fire up to 5 rounds in 2 seconds. And if law enforcement aren't looking to kill, the Doggo's Glock can be replaced with pepper spray or a dazzling light module to cause temporary blindness until the suspect is in custody. Number 6. Griffin Bomb Rover Cleveland police recently enlisted the help of a new robot named Griffin. Built by students from the local community college, Griffin is a 6-wheeled, 12-inch tall rover designed to go look for explosives where police can't fit, like under a car or behind dumpsters. Unlike an entire bomb squad and military-grade robots, 
Griffin is light enough to be deployed right away, without needing to be hauled out in a big truck. Equipped with a camera and light, Griffin is one of 40 robots that lets Ohio police officers scope out a potential bomb situation from a monitor at a safe distance. Number 5. Riot Control Drones This riot control drone, manufactured by South African firm Desert Wolf, can hover over a large protest of people and fire up to 20 paintballs per second while simultaneously showering them with tear gas pellets and pepper spray. Police in the Uttar Pradesh region of India recently purchased a set of these so-called skunk drones to help disperse large crowds. Operators can easily control the drone from the ground, which is outfitted with onboard speakers so authorities can communicate with crowds and talk them down. The drones also come with a bright set of strobe lights and lasers to safely disorient and disperse a gathering before having to resort to more severe measures. The skunk also comes packed with a thermal camera, an HD camera, and an onboard microphone, making it perfect for surveillance purposes. Number 4. Prison RoboGuards We've all heard of RoboCop, the fictional robot that fights crime. But what about a robot that guards prisoners? Well, South Korea has actually invented the world's first robot warden to look after inmates. Standing 5 feet tall and equipped with 3D cameras and software to recognize inmate behavior, the RoboGuard makes its rounds and reports any abnormal prison activity to the control center. It's able to report when something seems abnormal, like if there is a fight or an inmate on the floor. It will then transmit data about the situation in real time, so a human operator can decide what action needs to be taken. It also lets the human in the control center communicate with prisoners via the robot's two-way radios. Number 3. 510 Packbots Since the Munich massacre at the 1972 Summer Olympics in West Germany, authorities have paid special attention when it comes to the security of the events. So when it came time for Brazil to host the Olympics in 2016, the police force pulled out all the stops and enlisted the help of a number of Model 510 Packbots, also nicknamed Olympic Peacekeepers. Originally acquired in preparation for the World Cup, the 510 Packbot is a military-grade bomb detection and reconnaissance robot that was used after Fukushima meltdown in Japan and was deployed in Iraq and Afghanistan. Each of these peacekeepers weighs only 65 pounds and carries with it four cameras as well as a six-foot telescoping arm that can lift a 30-pound payload. The Packbot climbs stairs, maneuvers in water, and can crawl around at about six miles per hour, which is faster than most adults jog. Their main purpose is to detect and defuse bombs. They can even use mechanical wire cutters attached to the end of their arm to defuse a ticking bomb like in the movies. Number two, Tactical Throwbot. This ultra-durable robot is also ultra-light, weighing less than 4 pounds and is a reconnaissance bot used by Polish police. It's meant to be thrown into buildings or dropped from a pie to scout the scene with its camera, microphone, and various lighting options. It's so light that police can throw it into second-story windows without using any mechanical propulsion. It's designed to be equipped with stun grenades or explosives if needed, which can then be triggered by the controller driving around the tactical throwbot. Number 1. PD-100 Black Hornet We saved the best for last, and that is the Black Hornet, a flying surveillance robot designed to look and function just like a miniature helicopter. Built by Prox Dynamics, the mini machine contains live cameras that can stream video to the controller, allowing them to scout areas from a safe distance. They're also small and quiet, which makes them super helpful on the battlefield as a real-life Mission Impossible gadget. British forces have already put the robot into action. They typically deploy the Black Hornet inside compounds in an effort to clear routes through enemy-held spaces. It's worked quite well for them so far, frequently transmitting clear and precise images back to British forces. And those were 10 badass military and police robots. Which of these gadgets do you find the most useful? And which one do you find is the most terrifying? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up 
and subscribe to CheckJoint for more awesome videos just like this one. See you in the next one.